second we are starting the stream and once again first to YouTube and then we will go live on Facebook and so now we are live on both good morning y'all good morning YouTube good morning Facebook and we just finished getting our carpets cleaned a little bit because of our flooding we're still dealing with that I don't know why, I just feel like pressing that. But today we're gonna have a super quick tip on those of us with MacBook Pros with the touch bars. So if you have a MacBook Pro with a touch bar, this might be useful to you. And so I actually, I don't know, I've never done this. Hey, Dwayne, Dwayne, Harold Jen Koyak. Anyways, I have a poll. I've never done a poll before, but it asks you whether or not you have a touch bar and only those with MacBook Pros on the 15 inch or the 13 inch models will have this. But this is a neat tip that I just found out. I kind of stumbled upon it that you can change what the touch bar does depending on which application is open. And it doesn't work with everything. I actually found that it doesn't work with OBS, but OBS is a little bit, bit of a weird beast. So good morning to YouTube as well. And if you are there, I cannot see you, but I can respond to you as a human being. Sam, welcome to the show here. And I'm a little bit late for my own self-proclaimed morning goodness, but here is the touch bar. If nobody knows what a touch bar is, this is what the touch bar is. And the problem is, if you want to get to your function keys, you have to press and hold the function key down on the bottom left here before it reveals the function keys normally. And so this is a problem for some of us. Dave Murray, can you hear me too? I hope you can hear me too. Um, uh, anyways, Dave Cross is in the house. Good morning to you or afternoon, Florida. And so again, on YouTube, I can't see you, but if you're watching, I will say hi to you if you say hi to me. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a really quick tutorial because I am running late today because we had to get our carpets cleaned from the flooding cleanup. Yes, the flooding cleanup. Oh. <laughs> but we're almost there. I'm gonna meet with Curtis from First On Site. I'll see you tomorrow, Curtis. Good morning coffee, or good afternoon coffee. I, oh, Dave, you can hear me. Thank you so much. Th happy Thanksgiving, he says. Dave Murray and his Dave Cross. And it's like all these Daves in my life. I am so blessed to have all these Daves in my life. Da -da -da. And so a little bit weirder setup so you can see my hands when we go into the touch bar. And I'm just going to talk for one more minute. But I do have a gripe about the new MacBook Pro. Like I bought this pimped out MacBook Pro so I could do video editing faster. And I actually hate the keyboard. Like with a vengeance, the keyboard, the travel is like this thin, like you, you press the key down, it feels like you're hitting a brick wall. And I know that I'm not the lightest typer in the world, but the keyboard feels really atrocious. And if you're like me, I always touch the touch bar by accident. I don't know why it just happens all the time. And so, um, thank you for, so much for uh, being here, guys. I, I don't know who else is here. It's very strange. Omar, thank you so much for, for being here too. Um, on YouTube, so let's see what you got here. And I am pushing this out onto YouTube at a 1080p stream. So hopefully it looks better. On Facebook, you're relegated to 720 because of what Facebook requires. But that being said, why don't we get started with the topic at hand, which is how to get the touch bar functionality here. This is Dave from Not So Ancient Chinese Secrets and the maker of Motiboto. And today we're going to have a tip for Motiboto users and also any MacBook Pro users with a touch bar that would like to have, let's say, the function keys showing in one application, yet have the control strip and the system preferences controls in another application and automatically switch between the two. The problem is in some applications, you might want to use these application controls like the volume and brightness and everything else. But in other applications, you want to use the function keys. And to use the function keys is a kind of a pain in the butt to have to use the function key to reveal the function keys. Uh, because for things like Motiboto, we're going to be using a shift modifier with those function keys to add more functionality. Function, function, function. So what's a guy to do? Piece of cake. There's a new setting in Apple's keyboard preferences that allows us to choose to have this displayed with the application controls in certain applications and in other applications, like when you open up Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom to have the function key showing without the need to press and hold the function key on the bottom left. That's a lot of functions. Let's get moving and get started to taking a look at how we get this done. We just move our mouse to the Apple in the top left corner and we choose system preferences. From here, we're going to select the keyboard 
And under keyboard, if we have our touch bar showing for the app controls, that's going to be the default here. All right. So we've got all our controls over here. Now, what we can do is go to the shortcut tab. And on the very bottom on the left side, you can see the function keys option here. And what's cool about this, I can just press the plus key and I can choose any application that I want to have instead of the application control showing on the touch bar, I could have the function key. And so I'm going to choose Adobe Photoshop first because you can choose to have your keyboard shortcuts to be function keys. And so I want to activate that. And for Motiboto users, I'm also going to find Oops, Lightroom. Eh, I can't type on this keyboard. I do not like the shallow travel. And I'm going to press add here. And voila. Now, as you can see, if I'm in any other application other than Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop, I have my typical application controls in my touch bar. But once I switch over to Photoshop, boom, it automatically switches to the function keys. Same with Lightroom. And now I can execute my favorites on my presets without having to press and hold the function key, making it way easier. So that's a really useful application specific touch bar function control. Now, before you go, I do have a thought of the day and the thought of the day is this, a successful person never loses. They either win or learn. So thanks for spending your time with me and I hope to see you guys in the next live stream. We do have links to Motiboto and all the more goodness down below. So thanks for being with me. God bless and I'll see you in the next live stream.